So I have an SS4 project here that I need to upgrade from Inroads or Geopack SS4 that has my open roads elements in it. It's got the corridors, terrains, um, alignments, feature definitions, that kind of thing. Um, here I have it in a project folder and I've got a corridor that references some geometry in a different folder, maybe a terrain in a different folder, and I'm going to be able to upgrade the whole thing. So in the delivered um, files, program files for either Open Roads or Open Rail Designer. There's a executable here called versionchecker.exe. So we'll double click and get that up. Okay, when the version checker comes up, this is actually there's a lot of different things you can do with it. You can um, you can actually just use it to look at what schema version is in the file. You can upgrade the file from SS4 to um, to the latest version and you can align the products if you need to make an open rail DGN be able to be opened in open roads you can open up the open roads version checker and run all the align command on it so we're going to upgrade a project that contains other folders there so I'm going to do a file open folder I'm going to go out to my D drive where I have my project location And here's my project folder there. And when we open that up, we can look at the files that it sees in that folder. Um, it shows the schema version that are in there and what product version those were created in. <clears throat> and it understands that they reference, you know, what files they reference there. So if I am going to do an upgrade of the file, the first thing I'm going to do here is switch over to the upgrade list. And that kind of shows me it in, a, in an order. Um, for example, the corridor references the geometry um, the the super elevation references the geometry, so it does have to upgrade them kind of in order, and it kind of presents it to it to us there. And so once I have that, once I'm viewing the upgrade, I can do action and upgrade all. When I choose upgrade all, it's going to open up each of those DGNs. It's going to upgrade the schema uh, for them, and then it's going to close it. And before it does all that, it's going to copy a backup of those DGNs to a zip file for me. So let's go look at that, um, what it did. If I look back in my root folder there, it uh, created a zip file as a backup. So um, I have those if I need to go back to those SS4 versions. Those are there in the zip file. Um, but if I look at the files there, they've each been opened and upgraded for me uh, just now. So let's look at what it did there. Um, to do that, first I'm going to close out of the version checker because make sure it's closed out of the files. Then I'm going to come in and um, open the file here in OpenRail Designer in this case. And we'll open that corridor file. And since there's no concept of work set workspace there, it asks if we want to associate it to the current work set we're in, which is good. And so here is the upgraded file. So what it's done is all of those civil type elements like uh, terrains. I can see my terrain model from my reference. I can see the super elevation section there. I can see that the corridor objects have been um, upgraded and the you know the alignments that those were based off of those have been upgraded. It took the feature definitions. Um, that were in the SS4 project and it brought those forward. So I do have feature definitions. Um, it took the corridor design stage and made a corridor feature definition out of it. Um, I have, again, my linear feature definitions uh, that were used, and it's created those. It's created associated feature symbologies um, necessary to display it, um, how it was displayed back in SS4. So it has upgraded the civil elements like alignments, profiles, corridors, linear templates, terrains. Um, it's upgraded those to be usable, and it's upgraded the standards then that those rely on.